Hi, Rich Smith from Mustangs to Fear. We're going to show you how we remove and reinstall a drip row molding. A lot of times guys have a lot of problems with these things. They wind up denting them and uh, virtually destroying them, putting them on. Uh, we always try to work with the original moldings no matter what. We'll send them out if we have to, to get them refurbished and polished, but they fit 10 times better than your aftermarket stuff. So we're going to show you how we take these off. And we're actually just going to use just a church key, and I've got tape on this side right here so we can protect this. And we're just going to actually hook this backside edge, and we're just going to gently peel this thing up. Now we're not putting any dents or anything in this molding. pretty simple once you do it a few hundred times and there it is it's just that simple now we're going to reinstall this now some guys like to install these from the front and work their way back I prefer to start mine from the back and work my way forward. Now, there's a couple things that we're going to do. First of all, we're getting ready to paint this whole car. I'll mask these off. I make sure whenever I'm doing these that these things are completely masked off because uh, you don't want a bunch of buildup of primer, base coat, clear coat because these are, uh, they're just, it just makes it that much tougher to get these things to snap back on. Now, I'll show you why I start from the back because back here, this is actually going to determine where this needs to be here. Now, a lot of guys will try to judge using the top edge of the door of where this molding needs to be, but when we're ready to put this on ourselves, we don't have the doors on. So, starting back here at the back is gonna show you exactly where this needs to be and everything else is gonna follow along. So, we're gonna put this right on this edge right up here. And I can see that's just about where that needs to, needs to go. Just like that. Now, of course, if this car was painted, I would have someone hanging on to it. So I'm going to start my back right here. And a lot of times I can actually just take these things and roll them just like that. I don't even have to hit them. But you want to make sure that you've got them down far enough. Now, that's right there on that top edge. Starting with the top edge, just like that, we're going to press this around. Now, you can palm these. And you'll know when you get them down because you're going to hear that snap, just like that. But I'm being careful that I'm not trying to damage, damage the molding. Now back there already determined where I needed to be up here. So you can see how that just rolls right along. And there it is, just that simple.